now on Coast TV News. In cloudy skies and cold temperatures this Tuesday morning. A few peaks of sun today. January is ending chilly and February starting a bit milder. Details coming up. It dropped. We have the latest step in the case involving a former Sussex Central student and the Indian River School District. Hear firsthand from locals about the flooding crisis on Cave Neck Road in the Milton area. We're investigating the challenges and the urgency for solutions in the affected area. Perspective on the recent drone attacks on U.S. service members in Jordan. We got the reaction by the Biden administration after months of limited responses that did not deter any attacks. This is Coast TV News Today. It is Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. Welcome to our 6 o'clock hour. I'm, good morning, I'm Matt Pensick and Paige Marley has the morning off. Thank you for being up with us and we are working on a bit of a chilly Tuesday morning. Not expecting much of a warm up today as we bring in first alert meteorologist Bob Trihe. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Delmarva. I'd have to say pretty quiet weather-wise, pretty benign out there. We're looking at a lot of clouds, but nothing in the way of precipitation with these clouds. Kind of hard to pick them out on the satellite, but we have them all across Delaware and Delmarva right now. Any kind of showers are offshore right now. We have this pesky trough still over us with high pressure just to our west, but I think the clouds will win out really much of the day. Temperatures beginning mid to upper 30s, 36 in red and 37 Delmar, Salisbury 38 and upper 30s along the coast right now and we have a light northerly breeze so that feels like temperature it feels like 30s even 29 in indian river inlet so bundle up out the door as we're looking at clouds this morning i know future cast is not showing it but we have the clouds and by noon we're looking at temperatures in the low 40s mid-afternoon mid 40s and a few more of those clouds this evening maybe a few breaks from time to time day part forecast just show a little bit of the sunshine otherwise we're looking at the clouds and a gradual will warm up through the week. I'll have much more on your work week forecast coming up. All right, thanks, Bob. We're going to begin this hour with the man charged in relation to a deadly hit and run. That was of Worcester County teenager Gavin Knup back in 2022. We're talking about Tyler Mayu. He'll be in court again as oral arguments are scheduled for March 1st at 9 a.m. The charges against Mayu were dismissed last summer. That is when a judge ruled that they had been improperly filed in circuit court. That judge said those charges should have been filed in the District Court of Maryland. Now, the state's attorney general is arguing that dismissal was wrong and is asking an appellate court to reverse it. Lawyers for Mayu, they've made an opposing argument, and the appellate court will now hear from both sides a little over a month from now. So we're going to go back, take a look at what this case involves. This was a tragic hit and run. Took place about a year and a half ago. Knup was 14 years old when he was killed while walking in the Ocean Pines area. It happened on July 11, 2022. Well, Mayu has been charged. Do want to note here that all 17 charges he faces are for violations of motor vehicle law. Delaware's violent crime rates are at the lowest point since well, since the state began tracking that statistic. The Department of Justice says that's a 40% decline since 2008 with gun violent rates down 20% since a spike during the pandemic. Attorney General Kathy Jennings attributes these statistics to Delaware's criminal justice system working more effectively. She says Delaware prison population has also fallen by around 25% since 2019. A lawsuit filed against Sussex Central High School and the Indian River School District. It's been dropped. Anaya Harmon filed the lawsuit after video of a school fight was shared in which her breast was exposed. According to this civil order, the Delaware Superior Court found that the district was not responsible for the conduct of Principal Bradley Layfield and Assistant Principal Matthew Jones, as Harmon was claiming in her lawsuit. Judge Calvin Scott says Harmon was suing for a meme that was created of her from the fight video that did show her exposed breast. The court says that publication of that meme does not fall under the category of work Layfield or Jones would have been hired to do. The dismissal acknowledges Harmon's claim that sharing the school fight video during school hours were wrongful, but says that it is not the legal wrongdoing in her case. A main road in and out of Milton drawing concern. Flooding continues to be a problem on Cave Neck Road, and according to DelDot, the area near Pole Bridge Road outside of the town took a beating during big storms earlier this month. 
Deldot says it is still trying to figure out how to fix the flooding issues. We went to Milton to learn how the flooding is impacting people, and here is what one person told us. I have a son that lives down the street, and even he says he has a lot of doctor appointments, and they come into town and go Route 5 because after a big rain because they're not sure, you know, whether they're going to make it across that road or not. And there is no date for when construction on any project would begin. This morning, the Maryland Transportation Authority Police, they are continuing seeking information about a car they say may have contributed to a serious weekend crash on the Bay Bridge. It was a crash that left at least 13 people hurt. According to the Transportation Authority, investigators believe a blue 28, 2018 Honda Civic sedan, the one that we are showing you on your screen, was driving erratically at high rates of speed just before the crash that involved dozens of cars on January 27th. Anyone who saw this blue Honda driving west on US 50 between 7.30 to 7.45 a.m. near the bridge, they're being asked to call police. As is the case with many housing developments planned in Sussex County, Gray Rock Preserve, that is a subdivision planned for the Georgetown area, is facing a challenge. A man living in that area, William Syke, has filed an appeal of the preliminary approval. The proposed development would be located off of Wilson Row near Sussex Academy Elementary. It would include 94 lots, over 48 acres. Sykes challenges the approval based on county code violations, and he says he's urging the Sussex County Council to reconsider or allow public input on modifications. An appeal is set for council review at 9 a.m. today. Well, for the second Saturday in a row, voting will take place in Milton on a referendum. This one will be for a town-wide annexation. Polling will be February 3rd at the Milton Fire Department from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. On the ballot, the annexation of a 50-acre property between Shingle Point Road and Harbison Road Approval could lead to the development of a 163-unit residential community. The Lewis Historic Preservation Architectural Review Commission set to take a look, uh, have a public meeting on February 1st. This is following a public hearing at the Rollins Center. According to the commission, the agenda items include the review of significant property renovations on Coleman and Rodeline Avenues and an update on the historic district's resurvey. The commission will also discuss updates to their bylaws and uh, address the issue of endangered buildings in the area. The 65-acre development project near the intersection of Route 1 and Route 16 gets the green light from the Sussex County Planning and Zoning Commission. Developer Ocean One Holdings, LLC, still has not said what would be built on this land specifically, but the zoning change that they want does open the area up for everything from a gas station to a water park. And next, the Sussex County Council will hold a public hearing on the development and ultimately decide on the zoning request. That hearing is February 20th at 1 p.m. Let's bring us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what do you want to see on that property we just showed you. It's on Route 1 and 16, so let's take a look at the updated results. 49% of you are saying a shopping center, 31% a hotel. Well, we just saw a change there. And also we have some votes for a water park, and there is that gas station vote. If you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at coasttv.com or our mobile app. Pressure mounting on the White House to respond after a drone attack by an Iranian-backed military group on a U.S. military base in Jordan. It killed three American service members. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us while the White House maintains that the U.S. does not seek war with Iran, Members of the administration warned that a retaliatory attack could be on the horizon, but on the commander-in-chief's own timeline. These are the U.S. service members killed in the drone strike in Jordan over the weekend. All three were from Georgia and leave behind grieving families. She never expressed any fear, and um, Tower 22 is nothing that she ever mentioned to us. She was full of life. Um, she enjoyed life to the fullest. Um, you know, she was just uh, 
a ray of sunshine for anyone that came in contact with her. The Biden administration blames an Iran-backed militia for the first U.S. fatalities in months of attacks since the Israel-Hamas war began. Iran certainly bears a responsibility as they fund these groups that continue to use capabilities that they get from Iran. Some lawmakers say the president must take decisive action and strike Iran. Defense officials say the U.S. is still weighing its options. The president and I will not tolerate attack on U.S. forces and we will take all necessary actions to defend the U.S. and our troops. We do not seek another war. We do not seek to escalate. How, um... Others on Capitol Hill say the White House should not engage in military action without congressional approval. I just urge extreme caution, consultation with Congress, and um, a, a, a real thinking through of what this looks like in the big picture. The president facing political pressure and fears that a response could pull the U.S. into a wider conflict. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. And House and Senate lawmakers are expected to receive a number of classified briefings about the deadly attack this week. We're just getting started in this hour of Coast TV News Today. Coming up, last call for the Lewis Polar Bear Plunge. What you need to know to be part of this year's big event. Also, we got more on the slow zones off of Ocean City's coast to protect right whales, the new speed limits, and the reasons behind these measures. And Dewey Beach considers blooming the latest there in ways to beautify the town. Coast TV News Today is back after this. Avoid the nightmare of mold. Did you know, after a water-related event, mold can begin to grow within 48 hours? If this happens in your home or business, first, thoroughly clean and dry the affected area, then increase airflow and decrease relative humidity. Or just call Riptide Restoration, your trusted mold remediation experts on Delmarva, to professionally treat and remove the mold and restore your home as if it never happened. For more information, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Palenka Ford wants you to get more in 2024. More features, more safety, and more savings on every new vehicle in stock, including Edge, Explorer, and Bronco. You'll find financing as low as 1.9% for 72 months on a new F-150 pickup, or take over $5,000 off a new Ford Escape. Plus, Palenka will give you $500 towards a down payment on a new vehicle. It's happening now. Our Get More in 2024 event at Palenka Ford of Salisbury. At Coast Country, we're more than just music. We're a part of Delmarva's heart. Every month, Coast Country Cares, together with Spicer Brothers, steps up to serve our community. We're here helping local organizations and supporting our neighbors all year round. Join us in making a difference. Stay tuned to learn where we'll be next or visit CoastCountry.com to see how you can be a part of our mission. Coast Country Cares, brought to you by Spicer Brothers, because we are Delmarva proud. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, you're always a local at Beach Barrels in North Ocean City. Enjoy great times and great vibes at our unique bar. Try our award-winning Prima Hoagies that are made fresh to order. Cheer on your favorite sports team on our numerous big screens. Our live music scene is out of this world, hosting the area's best local and regional acts. Come in, grab a seat, or enjoy our brand new outside deck featuring beautiful palm trees, comfy seating with a tropical vibe. We're open every day from 10 a.m. till 2 a.m. See you at Beach Barrels, 133rd and Coastal Highway. Coming up on 614 right now, our Boardwalk Plaza cam showing dry conditions. Not too much activity right now. 37 out there. It is chilly across the area. Temperatures ranging from about 35 to 39 across the area. So make sure you bundle up this morning. At least the winds are pretty light, but they're coming out of the north. A little stronger along the coast right now. So it feels like temperatures 29 the Indian River inland and feeling like mid to upper 30s inland areas as we're seeing clouds and radar right now. And we have a lot of clouds coming in from the north and we'll continue to see that as we go through time. We're looking at a pretty good morning for a run light winds, but it will be chilly, maybe a little bit of sunshine temperatures in the 30s and 40s. All right, well, happening this morning, it's the latest attempt to deal with affordable housing in our area. The Sussex County Planning and Zoning Commission scheduled to present an update on small housing units. We're talking about things like garage apartments like the one we're showing you on your screen. These accessory dwelling units can also include apartments over garages or in basements, and it is part of the county council meeting that is set to begin at 9 a.m. 
Dewey Beach could join Lewis and Rehoboth Beach with its own flower planting group called Dewey and Bloom. The Dewey Beach Marketing Committee says it is searching for more ways to get locals more involved with beautification projects in the town. And the committee will talk more about this idea and possibly vote on it to bring it to commissioners. Well, it is likely not considered the most wonderful time of the year. Not. Tax season. It's underway. The Internal Revenue Service is starting to accept and process 2023 federal income tax returns. The deadline for filing for most people is April 15th. And people who miss the tax filing deadline will likely face a hefty penalty unless they ask for an extension. JetBlue said that it might back out of a $3.8 billion acquisition of Spirit Airlines. This after a federal judge blocked the deal. The announcement came after JetBlue and Spirit said they would appeal the decision. JetBlue said the deal could be terminated if certain conditions were met. And Spirit said in its own filing that it disagreed with JetBlue and believed that, quote, there is no basis for terminating the deal. Well, coming up, the last call for the Lewis Polar Bear Plunge. Get the tales on registration deadlines and fee changes and how you can be part of this chilly challenge. Also, discover the hidden problems beneath the beauty of South Bethany's canals. We're going to delve into the alarming data, the proposed solutions, and how homeowners can play a part in restoring the canal. And still pretty dark out there, but seeing some breaks in the overcast on the Tyndall's Casual Furniture Cam. But lots of clouds, cold this morning, and that'll be the case much of the day. No rain or snow. January ends chilly, and February starts a bit warmer. Details after the break. Pohenka Honda wants you to get more in 2024. More features, more safety, and more savings on every new vehicle in stock, including Ridgeline, HRV, and Pilot. You'll find financing as low as 2.9% on new Civic CRVs and passports, and payments from $249 a month on a brand new Accord. Stop by now, and Pohenka will give you $500 towards a down payment on a new vehicle during our Get More in 2024 sales event at Pohenka Honda of Salisbury. Welcome to the ride home on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. First rule of the ride home, we definitely talk about the ride home. In fact, tell all your friends. Second rule of the ride home, we have fun. Top 10 Tuesday, Would You Rather Wednesday, and every day, you pick the songs on the high five. And the third rule of the ride home, we don't take ourselves too seriously. You've got enough to stress about. So let me handle the ride home weekdays from 3 to 7 on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. Weather shapes our lives. At Coast TV, our first alert weather team is always at work, ensuring you have the information you need. So we're looking forward to begin to make its way towards Fenwick Island pretty quickly here. Because we know how much weather matters to our coastal community. Make sure you take cover from these storms. Our promise is to guide, inform, and protect. Make sure you are remaining weather aware tomorrow. Weather coverage that prioritizes you. Coast TV and the First Alert Weather Team. Your safety, our commitment. The weather is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction. Born here to serve here. At Spicer Brothers, we're not just about installing roofs. We're about protection, durability, and peace of mind. Our team of skilled professionals can install your last roof using the highest quality materials in as little as one day. And we make it easy with on-site design and digital proposal. And right now, save $1,000 off your new roof. Plus, have peace of mind with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. And the best part, enjoy no interest and no payments for 18 months. Call today and schedule your free in-home consultation because you deserve the best. All right, we've got 618 and we got a live check-in with Seifer this morning on this Tuesday morning. Bob, as we work our way throughout today, we're not really expecting that big jump up in temperatures. Not, not at all. No, I think probably another 5 to 10 degrees. That'll do it with temperatures only rising into the mid 40s. That's about it. We're beginning in the 30s, but I don't think we're looking at any frost this morning because we have the cloud cover and a little bit of a breeze. So we get a little break with the ice scraper this morning. So I'll say no frost as we go through this morning. We're looking at a lot of clouds right now. Hard to tell on the satellite picture, but we 
have a trough that's still affecting us with a northerly flow and we have the clouds coming down the coast uh, from Jersey and New York right down into Delmarva and they're tough to see but they are pretty thick clouds and a little bit of light precipitation off of Long Island back into New England but otherwise aside from that we're looking at high pressure trying to build in from the west trying to nudge these clouds out of here but I think the clouds will win out today in the meantime we're watching this clipper system across the Midwest with some rain and snow this will really not affect us that will graze us with some clouds as we're going through tonight and tomorrow but temperatures around 35 to 39 out the door so you definitely need to bundle up there's a bit of a northerly breeze especially along the coast where it's about 10 to 15 miles per hour so it's feeling like 30 in Rehoboth in Indian River Inlet right now 33 in Salisbury 37 in Georgetown so you want to bundle up as we do have temperatures that are in the upper 30s I don't think Futurecast is taking into account that we have cloud cover that's keeping these temperatures a little higher but that's the case and I think we are looking at the clouds through much of the day a few peaks of sun and even Futurecast does increase the clouds this afternoon into this evening with highs in the mid 40s this afternoon then back into the 30s this evening and overnight we're looking at mostly cloudy skies right on the edge of that clipper system that will bring northeast winds tomorrow and temperatures into the 40s so it will be another chilly day but we're not going to see any precipitation from the system that will be bypassing us off to the south and then as we go into late Wednesday and Thursday we'll see a period of clear skies and then Friday we cloud it up again maybe a stray shower with the cold front and then that clears us out giant high pressure to the north provides a nice weekend with sunshine both Saturday and on into Sunday as well so we're looking forward to that that high keeping any kind of storminess away your Paul Davis seven day forecast 44 today mostly cloudy Wednesday 46 up to 52 on Thursday with some sunshine a few showers with that front Friday 50 and then this is incredible sunshine both Saturday and Sunday highs into the mid to upper 40s gonna hold you to that one all right thanks for that well tomorrow marks marks the last chance to register for the Lewis polar bear plunge so it's expected to be sunny there you can apply with a $20 deposit or the full $75 fee. But again, actually, that's today's the last day uh, you can apply for that. Um, so starting on Wednesday, the fee jumps up to $100 and the deposit option is done. Well, two right whale slow zones now in effect off the coast of Ocean City. Maryland Department of Natural Resources says the presence of right whales was detected south of Ocean City. Boaters are asked to slow down to 10 knots or less. The slow zones are in effect through February 8th. Beautiful canals in South Bethany have got lots of problems underneath the surface. New data showing South Bethany's canals are significantly worse than the year before, with dissolved oxygen levels up 70%. Less oxygen in the canal, that means no fish, and more algae. And the town is discussing adding nets to catch debris and clean up the water and dredging the canal first to give it a deep clean. But there are also ways homeowners can help improve the canal water. We'd also like to have homeowners in town take the responsibility for closing down these things that drain into the canal uh, and take more responsibility about allowing, you know, cut grass to blow into the canals and such, because all that adds the, to the pollution level and to the the problem we have every year of an algae bloom. And the South Bethany Council looking for other ways to help the water quality in the canals. Pan to discuss this more during their next meeting. A big decision in the Alex Murdoch case, insight into the judge's ruling coming up. And we've got that with a new jury trial claim despite tampering claims and what this means for justice. Also, Delaware's new crackdown on distractive driving and seatbelt violations. More than just enforcement, understand how these efforts are designed to make our roads safer and what you can do to protect others. Delmarva's Rock Station, 93.5 The Beach. Is the name of your bank changing again? The Farmers Bank of Willards has been a local independent bank for nearly 100 years. When you bank local, your money stays here in our community, where it benefits our local businesses, farms, and families. The Farmers Bank has real people ready to help and world-class features like our free mobile banking app with Lockett debit card security, a smart sense savings program, and free checking with no minimum balance. Stop paying extra fees and switch to the Farmers Bank of Willards, where people matter. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. 
Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live, so you can watch the game as it happens, or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today, driven by Preston Automotive Group. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to delmarvasportsnetwork.com or download the DSN app. Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. Watch the Salisbury Stakes, Maryland's new minor league soccer team, exclusively on the Delmarva Sports Network. His shot score! From every shot to every goal, the Salisbury Stakes on DSN. Local teams, big dreams. All new Drew. Your husband sang I know. to Jeremy with rose petals. He never does that to our bearded dragon. Tuesday at noon on Coast TV. All right, we have breaking news this morning. A fire has been reported where the Shrimp Boat Restaurant in Ocean City is located on Stephen Decatur Highway. According to the Ocean City Volunteer Fire Company, emergency services received this call just after 5 a.m., a little over an hour ago. Crews are currently on the scene. Information is limited at this time, but we will keep you updated as more information becomes available. Well, in a big safety push, Delaware State and local law enforcement, they are upping efforts against distractive driving and seatbelt violations. Distractive driving continues to be a leading cause of accidents across the U.S., endangering drivers, passengers, and pedestrians alike. Authorities recommend using the Do Not Disturb feature on phones, storing your phone out of reach while driving, and pulling over safely if phone use is necessary. And this crackdown aims to make the road safer for everyone. A judge has denied convicted murderer Alex Murdoch a new trial. The decision was made following allegations of jury tampering by Colton County Clerk. The judge heard testimony from all 12 jurors in this trial, as well as the clerk of court, Rebecca Hill, and ultimately decided that the clerk's comment did not influence the jury in their decision. Murdoch has previously but punished with two consecutive life sentences without parole in the deaths of his wife, Margaret, and their youngest son, Paul. Well, First Alert Meteorologist Bob Try, he joins us again, and we've been talking about this all morning. Like, If you, if you like the temperatures where they are now, you're probably going to like 3 o'clock this afternoon and as we move on throughout the day. You know, it is chilly, Matt, but then again, it's the end of January and average highs are in the mid 40s. So we're pretty much right there, maybe a hair below average. We'll see more clouds than sun, a few peaks of sun today, around 43 in Seaford, Laurel and Georgetown, 41 in Dover and Harrington with mostly cloudy skies. East and back through Denton and Vienna, low to mid 40s. Looks like Vienna is the warmer spot. And we've got 43 for Crisfield, around 43 in Chincoteague, Salisbury. You're looking at around 46 in Berlin, around 43. We've got Another chilly day tomorrow, but then warming as we welcome the new month of February. I'll talk about that and have much more in your forecast coming up in about three minutes. Bob, and also coming up, plans for work on a main road in Milton. We reveal the extent of storm damage and why locals there are demanding immediate action. And the saga continues in the story of a deadly hit and run that captured the attention of our coast. Get the insights into the legal battle underway in Worcester County. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. Palenka Ford wants you to get more in 2024. More features, more safety, and more savings on every new vehicle in stock, including Edge, Explorer, and Bronco. You'll find financing as low as 1.9% for 72 months on a new F-150 pickup. Or take over $5,000 off a new Ford Escape. Plus, Palenka will give you $500 towards a down payment on a new vehicle. It's happening now. Our Get More in 2024 event at Pohenka Ford of Salisbury. If you're experiencing ringing, humming, or buzzing in your ear, you may have tinnitus. Tinnitus is a condition that can make it hard to understand speech, relax, or sleep. 
If you have any of these symptoms, the first step is getting your hearing tested. The audiologist will be able to diagnose your problem and prescribe you devices that can alleviate your symptoms. Hearing aids like Signia's even offer tinnitus programs that can offset tinnitus noises. To learn more information about mast audiology, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com or download the DSN app. Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. Welcome to the ride home on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. First rule of the ride home, we definitely talk about the ride home. In fact, tell all your friends. Second rule of the ride home, we have fun. Top 10 Tuesday, Would You Rather Wednesday, and every day you pick the songs on the high five. And the third rule of the ride home, we don't take ourselves too seriously. You've got enough to stress about, so let me handle the ride home weekdays from 3 to 7 on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. This is Coast TV News January 30th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick, and it is 6.30 a.m. as we make our way on this Tuesday morning. We're going to get a live look now. This is Laurel. A little bit shaky there with that camera. And our first alert meteorologist, Bob Try, he joins us now to help you prepare as you make your way out the door, Bob. Matt, no worries. We're not having an earthquake. It's just that camera tends to vibrate a little bit, but it's showing a lot of clouds, maybe a few breaks in the overcast, but a lot of clouds this morning. The bark is worse than the bite. Nothing in the way of precipitation, just cloudy skies or mainly cloudy skies. Any kind of sprinkles or flurries are well offshore or well to our north and east. Temperatures this morning, 37 in Georgetown, Salisbury, 38, 36 Ocean Pines, Indian River Inlet, 38, Milton at 37. We've got a bit of a northerly breeze right now. So feels like temperatures, 20s and lower 30s along the coast, feeling like 31 in Greenwood. So definitely bundle up out the door as we do have the clouds, even though future cast not showing the clouds, they are there. And as we go into the afternoon, a few more clouds and temperatures only in the low to mid 40s as we have kind of a raw easterly wind kicking in and keeping it pretty partly cloudy, rather uh, cloudy as we go into the evening with temperatures into the 30s. Here's your boardwalk forecast. If you're headed out of Bethany Beach, we're looking at clouds and a little bit of sun sunshine as well as we go through the morning temperatures in the 30s and 40s and a bit of an east northeast breeze all right bob well del dot says cave neck road in milton is on the list for a little tender love and care this after damage was caused by some recent storms coast tv news reporter charles reinert shows us how bad that damage is and why locals say it needs to be fixed sooner rather than later gravel and sand that's really all that's holding this part of Cave Neck Road together. And that's the way it's going to stay, for now. All of Milton is concerned. According to DelDot, the roadway took a beating during storms earlier this month. And since then, the roadway has looked more like a lake after any time it rains. Dan Along says it's a problem. Um, I have a son that lives down the street, and even he says he has a lot of doctor appointments. And they come into town and go Route 5 because after a big rain because they're not sure, you know, whether they're going to make it across that road or not. Some online have gone as far as saying there's a sinkhole there, though Coast TV has not confirmed that to be true. But the question is when? And Long says it can't happen soon enough. This street from 730 to 830 is like bumper to bumper in front of my house on Atlantic Street. So those Hundreds of people that come to work in Milton every day must be concerned because that's going to cut a lot of time if that road's not. There are more dark clouds heading our way later this week. And we're getting a lot of rain coming in the, in the forecast. And with no fix yet in place, drivers in Milton have a sinking feeling about Cave Neck Road. According to DelDot, they're still figuring out the logistics of how this is going to get fixed, so there's no set time on when construction could begin, though we will keep you posted when a date becomes available. I'm Charles Reiner in Milton, Coast TV News. The man charged in relation to the deadly hit and run of Worcester County teenager Gavin Knupp will soon be in court again. Oral arguments for Tyler Mayu have been scheduled for March 1st at 9 a.m. The charges against Mayu were dismissed last summer. That's when a judge ruled that 
They had been improperly filed in circuit court instead of the District Court of Maryland. Now, Maryland's Attorney General arguing that dismissal was wrong and is asking an appellate court to reverse it. Lawyers from IU, well, they made an opposing argument. The appellate court will now hear from both sides a little over a month from now. So some background on this case. This was Gavin Knapp. He was 14 years old when he was killed in a hit and run accident while walking in the Ocean Pines area. It happened on July 11, 2022. And while Mayu had been facing charges, it's important to note that all 17 charges involved with him are for violations of motor vehicle law. Delaware's violent crime rates are at the lowest point since the state began tracking the statistic. The Department of Justice says that's a 40% decline since 2008, with gun violent rates down 20% since they spiked during the pandemic. Attorney General Kathy Jennings attributes these statistics to Delaware's criminal justice system working more effectively. And she says Delaware's prison population has also fallen by around 25% since 2019. A lawsuit filed against Sussex Central High School and the Indian River School District has been dropped. And Nia Harmon filed that lawsuit after video of a school fight was shared in which her breast was exposed. According to this civil order, the Delaware Superior Court found that the district was not responsible for the conduct of Principal Bradley Layfield and Assistant Principal Matthew Jones, as was claimed by her lawsuit. Judge Calvin Scott says Harmon was suing for a meme that was created of her from the fight of that video. It showed her exposed breasts, but the court says the publication does not fall under the category of work Layfield and Jones would have been hired to do. The dismissal acknowledges Harmon's claims that sharing the school fight video during school hours were wrongful, but says that it is not the legal wrongdoing in this case. Layfield's attorney, Thomas Neuberger, pledged to get all claims dropped, saying in a statement to Coast TV, quote, the claim against Dr. Layfield also is without merit and we will be seeking to have it dismissed in due course by the Superior Court. End quote, the claim he should be terminated is politically driven. Neuberger also says that a school board discharge hearing for Layfield has been set for February 15th. We did reach out to Harmon's attorney and the district, but have not heard back. Layfield received notice of his termination on November 20th. Families of the three U.S. soldiers who died in a drone attack in Jordan are speaking out to honor them. 23-year-old specialist Brianna Moffitt's mother says she's proud of her daughter. The widow of 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers says he loved the Army and took care of his family. And the parents of 24-year-old specialist Kennedy Sanders says she had a contagious smile and liked to laugh. The three were assigned to the 718th Engineer Company. It is a U.S. Army Reserve unit based out of Fort Moore in Georgia. Five people have been arrested in California in connection with a multiple homicide case in El Mirage last week. They were arrested after deputies served search warrants on Sunday. Earlier in the week, authorities discovered bodies in the Mojave Desert after someone called 911 and said he had been shot. And when police arrived on that scene late Tuesday, they found five bodies. A sixth was located the following morning. The Justice Department issued a grand jury subpoena for documents to the sergeant at arms for the U.S. House of Representatives. The House clerk on Monday read a letter from the floor from the sergeant at arms informing the chamber of the subpoena. According to a source familiar with the matter, the subpoena involves a Democrat member and the misuse of money. The identity of the member was immediately not clear, nor were additional details regarding the alleged misuse of funds, except that it did have to do with security. The Justice Department declined to comment. More news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. And coming up, we're Hobart Beach, considering parking changes again. Find out what proposals the city is considering. And don't miss our sneak peek at Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. We have a look at the thrills and chills awaiting this highly anticipated sequel. Coast TV News Today is back after this. Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Calsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Calsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Calsa Jewelers. We are Casa Jewelers, offer signature pieces that represent the beauty, the love, and also the celebration of our life. 
Find your peace in historic Lewis, Rehobo Beach, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh, porches. Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, so I would say. So they're made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go. they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? It'll and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. At Coast Country, we're more than just music. We're a part of Delmarva's heart. Every month, Coast Country Cares, together with Spicer Brothers, steps up to serve our community. We're here helping local organizations and supporting our neighbors all year round. Join us in making a difference. Stay tuned to learn where we'll be next or visit coastcountry.com to see how you can be a part of our mission. Coast Country Cares, brought to you by Spicer Brothers, because we are Delmarva Proud. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. 6.40 on this uh, cloudy Tuesday morning, Boardwalk Plaza Camp. Oh, look at that, a little break in the overcast right along the horizon. The sun not up yet, it's coming up at 7.09. 37 in Rehoboth right now, 37 in Georgetown, Seaford, 37. 36 in Ocean Pines, and pretty much everybody in the mid to upper 30s. We've got a northerly breeze that's not too strong, but where it's stronger, it feels like upper 20s. Elsewhere, it feels like 30s right now, and off to the bus stop for the kiddos. 35, mostly cloudy skies, definitely need that heavier coat don't need any kind of rain gear and heading home looking at 43 another way to get your weather information is by calling the first alert weather line call 443-880-9100 your forecast just a call away good to know thanks bob a double blast from the past in movie news today here's david daniel with the hollywood minute we might be looking at a second ice age we're gonna need all the help we can get let's get to work can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform! Yeah! The original Busters are back to help the new generation battle supernatural evil in the latest trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. The mystery comedy adventure crosses generations, but don't cross the streams when it debuts in theaters March 22nd. Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. If your idea of fun includes horror films like The Shining, head to Estes Park, Colorado. The horror studio Bloomhouse is launching what it calls a mini academy museum dedicated to horror at the Stanley Hotel. Stephen King spent a night at the hotel before writing The Shining and has cited it as an inspiration for his iconic novel. So take a vacation. Remember, all work and no play. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. On sports, Indian River girls basketball hoping to get back to back in the win column, but Parkside winners of five straight standing in their way, and the Delmarva Sports Network's Michelle Roberts brings us to the action. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. A cross conference battle in girls basketball last night, seven and five Indian River from the Hemlopen facing the second place team in the Bayside South Parkside. IR strikes right off the jump ball, Abigail Bertland. Drops it off to Alexandria Davidson for the hoop for the 2-0 start, but from there it was all Parkside. Zion Smith leaps to knock away the pass and goes the distance, giving Parkside its first lead of the night. Later on in the quarter, Talaya Clark snatches the rebound and she's off to the races. Number 13 is a blur down the floor before finishing Parkside up 10-2. And the Rams kept putting it all together. Zion OG. Slides another piece into the puzzle and Parkside leading 22 to 2 after the opening quarter. But check out the fight in IR. Davidson swats this shot away and then darts ahead of the pack. She opts for the jumper and the stroke is sweet. She led Indian River with six points. 
but the Rams would show off their own defensive prowess. The Great Wall of OG sends it back where it came from, and then she takes control off the glass, beats the buzzer, and puts Parkside up 34-8 to at the half. Moving on to the second, Bertling made a hoops mixtape out of this. Check out this move, crossing everyone over into a finish. But in the end, the Rams were too strong, and Parkside takes this game 57-17 to for their sixth straight win. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day. Seaford, you're waking up to cloudy skies right now. Tidal Health Camp showing dry roads and chilly temperatures in the 30s. We are seeing a lot of clouds out there, but nothing major as far as storms the next several days. That's good. A few showers are possible from time to time. I'll time those out on future casts coming up next. From inside Iran, from Israel, from Florida, from Lewiston, Maine. Part of our continued reporting. This is what a country at war looks like. Women, old children. What is it like? Countless neighborhoods across the region that look just like this. Everybody good? It took for all this damage to us. It all started with a food truck. A truck and a dream of bringing excellent street food to our community. That dream became Tiki Jack's as we know it today. From mouth-watering street tacos to our signature sandwiches and street-inspired entrees, Tiki Jack's is the ultimate destination for comfort food by the shore. Whether you're dining out with family or looking for a fun night out with friends, stop by Tiki Jack's of Rehoboth Beach today for all your street eats and brews. Have fun and enjoy Delmarva's Coast with Petey the Peacock, Coast TV's feathered friend and sharing joy coastwide. Know where he's going to be next and get his free coloring book at PeteyThePeacock.com. Brought to you by Title Health. Light up your Grammy party. Lord, is it on fire? And I sing with Anthony Hamilton. Tuesday at 2 on Coast TV. Weather brought to you by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, dedicated to excellence in Delaware and Maryland. Homeowners frequently face unexpected heating and air conditioning expenses at the most inconvenient times. For a limited time, Coastal Comfort is offering a worry-free 10-year guarantee on select systems for as low as $199 a month. Customers will also receive 10 years of parts, 10 years of labor, and 10 years of maintenance, but only with Coastal Comfort. Discover peace of mind with Coastal Comfort. Keeping your home comfortable and hassle-free for years to come. Coastal Comfort, a carrier, factory, authorized dealer. Carrier, turn to the experts. All right, approaching 647 on this Tuesday morning, and we have the live look at Rehoboth Beach for you there. It's brighter, not dark. Sun hasn't officially come up, Bob, but at sunrise, it is coming soon. Looking good. We have a little break of blue skies on the horizon there, Matt. Sun's up officially at 7.09, getting closer and closer to 7 a.m. That happens on February 7th, by the way. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to warmer temperatures. We're not going to see those in the next couple of days. Today, I'm thinking around 44. Average high is 45, and we'll be above that tomorrow, around 46 degrees. And then February gets here Thursday, and I think we're into the lower 50s, around 52. And then Friday is Groundhog Day. Everybody's hinging on what the groundhog says as far as winter goes 50 degrees just a little you know hint it's six more weeks of winter and, and whatever he says and then 45 as we go on into your saturday clouds and radar right now seeing a lot of clouds out there and a few breaks from time to time but a lot of clouds coming in out of the north right now we have this trough of low pressure that's starting to move away still a few light showers off along island up into new england but nothing major as we have high pressure off to our south and west ahead some clear skies with it trying to push these clouds out of here but i think the clouds are pretty pesky throughout the day there is a clipper system with snow and rain back to our north and west that will miss us to the south but will graze us with some clouds tonight and tomorrow temperatures right now out the door mid to upper 30s as we have a light northerly breeze but where it's stronger you're feeling like 20s and low 30s right now along the coast so make sure you bundle up at futurecast not picking up on the clouds but we have them this morning and we'll be increasing those throughout the afternoon, even Futurecast picking up on that at 3 o'clock. Temperatures in the low to mid 40s and then 
partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies overnight as that clipper system moves to our south. Temperatures in the 30s. We'll see a lot of clouds as we go through your Wednesday, but I think it remains dry with temperatures in the mid 40s. So another chilly day to wrap up January and some breaks in the clouds as well. As we see one system moving away, we will clear it out later Wednesday and on into Thursday. And then as we move into Friday, we see another system. That's a cold front that will give us maybe a few showers, a better chance of showers looks like off to the east. That will get into sunshine, but a stronger northerly flow. It'll be cold, but clear, I think, both Saturday and Sunday, something we haven't seen in quite a long time. A pretty nice weekend as we keep any kind of storminess off to our south. Paul Davis. Restoration and home remodeling seven day forecast 44 today, 46 on Wednesday, more sunshine Thursday, 52 and then Friday 50 with some rain showers, very light with that cold front and then Saturday and Sunday, something we haven't seen in a long time. Sunshine icons both days with highs into the mid to upper 40s, truly amazing. And then middle 40s in Chile to start next week. Been a while since we had that, Bob. All right, thanks for that. A workshop meeting is set to take place in Rehoboth Beach on February 5th. The commissioners are gearing up to discuss amendments to the city's parking program. The proposed changes focus on parking meter zones, fees, and special exceptions that could potentially impact the upcoming 2024 summer season. And this meeting will also shape the future of parking at the popular Duville Beach. Well, Maryland Governor Wes Moore has launched the Enough Act. This is an initiative to help end poverty across the state. Effort will focus on improving education, safety, and economic growth in communities struggling with poverty. And the plan includes more taxpayer money to be used to support to make changes in the lives of Maryland residents. And there's a special emphasis for this program on children. The Worcester County Public Works Water and Wastewater Division will be conducting important smoke testing on the sanitary sewer systems in Ocean Pines until February 2nd. This will affect Hingham Lane, Lynx Lane, Greens Court, Bunker Court, and Dog Leg Court. They're going to use non-toxic smoke. The team aims to identify any breaks or defects in the system. Now, the smoke is harmless to people, pets, and plants, and it typically goes away quickly, but it may enter homes that have certain plumbing issues. We're seeing a lot of clouds to start our Tuesday. Tyndall's casual furniture cam showing the overcast guys, 37 in Laurel. So it's a chilly start to the day and it will be pretty cool throughout the week. The weather is staying pretty quiet for the rest of the week. No major storms and amazingly a decent weekend on the way. I'll have your 10 day forecast coming up after the break. Our up and coming designer series is back and we're going bigger, brighter and bolder than ever before because fashion in 2024 is all about more. And on the next Cameron Hall, the next designer in our up and coming designer series proves it's never too late to follow your passion for fashion. And he's doing it at age 63, pivoting from a career in architecture. You won't believe the looks he's constructed now on the next Cameron Hall. Tuesday at three on Coast TV. This is the Wheel of Fortune, you know. Let the good times roll. Wow! You feeling it? I'm so happy! Woo! I like that. I can hardly wait to see what's next. Tuesday at 7 on Coach TV. On Jeopardy! Champions Wildcard, it's game two of the semifinals, where fortunes can change in a flash. Oh, God. True double? <laughs> okay. Everything's at stake. Next Jeopardy! Tuesday at 7.30 on Coast TV. From inside Iran, from Israel, from Florida, from Lewiston, Maine. Part of our continued reporting. This is what a country in war looks like. Women, children. What is it like? Countless neighborhoods across the region that look just like this. Everybody good? It took for all this damage to occur. Welcome to the ride home on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. First rule of the ride home, we definitely talk about the ride home. In fact, tell all your friends. Second rule of the ride home, we have fun. Top 10 Tuesday, Would You Rather Wednesday, and every day, you pick the songs on the high five. And the third rule of the ride home, we don't take ourselves too seriously. You've got enough to stress about. 
So let me handle the ride home weekdays from 3 to 7 on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. Get ready to soar with the Hawks. Delmarva Sports Network is your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. From the first whistle to the final buzzer, DSN will take you courtside. Experience the excitement of both the men's and women's teams with every dribble, steal, and three-pointer. To see the schedule or watch the games, go to DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com or download the DSN app. Join us all season long only on the Delmarva Sports Network, your exclusive home for UMES Hawks basketball. 6.54 a.m. and time for things you need to know before you go. In Worcester County, an important court date has been set for Tyler Mayu. He's connected to the deadly hit and run of teenager Gavin Knupp from over a year and a half ago. Mayu will appear in court on March 1st at 9 a.m. for oral arguments. Charges against him were dismissed last summer due to a technicality, but Maryland's Attorney General is seeking to have them reinstated. Court will hear arguments from both sides in just over a month. The lawsuit against Sussex Central High School and the Indian River School District has been dropped. Anaya Harmon filed the lawsuit after a video of a school fight showing her exposed breast was shared. The court ruled the school district's not responsible for this interest, and Judge Calvin Scott stated that while sharing the video was wrong, it wasn't legally wrong by the school officials. The Maryland Transportation Authority police seeking information on a single car they say may have contributed to that serious weekend crash on the Bay Bridge that left at least 13 people hurt. According to police investigators, they believe a blue 2018 Honda Civic sedan was driving erratically at high speeds just before the crash involving dozens of cars on January 27th. And there are, say, witnesses who saw that Honda Civic driving between 7.30 and 7.45 a.m. on U.S. 50 near the bridge are asked to call police. Beautiful canals in South Bethany. they got lots of problems underneath the surface. New data showing South Bethany's canals significantly worse than the year before with dissolved oxygen levels up 70 percent. Less oxygen in the canal means no fish and more algae, and the town is discussing adding nets to catch debris and clean up the water and dredging the canals first to give it a deep clean. They'll discuss this more during their next meeting. A main road in Milton out in and out of the town, it's drawing concern. Flooding continues to be a problem on Cave Neck Road. According to Delot, the area near Pole Bridge Road outside of the town took a beating during big storms earlier this month. Delot says it is still trying to figure out how to fix the flooding issues there. No set date on when any construction project could begin. Think you make the coolest thing in Delaware? Got a contest here. The Delaware State Chamber of Commerce and the Delaware Manufacturing Association, they have started the coolest thing made in Delaware contest. It aims to highlight the state's vibrant manufacturing industry and also promote the sector as a top career path. Nominations will be accepted until February 21st. 6.56 now, and we've got one final check with our first alert meteorologist, Bob Trahe. Not expecting much of a warm-up today, Bob. Not much of a warm up, but a pretty quiet weather day all in all, Matt. So we'll take that. We have a lot of clouds, nothing in the way of rain and snow, but out the door temperatures in the mid thirties and a bit of a breeze. So you do want to bundle up. We could see some peaks of sunshine from time to time today, but temperatures still maybe a hair below average. I'm thinking right around 44. The average is 45. Here's your Paul Davis 10 day forecast 46 on Wednesday and the last day of January it goes out chilly and then February starts. Well, a little warmer. 52 with sunshine, a few showers with a cold front on Friday, and then the weekend looking fantastic. Lots of sunshine and temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Thanks, Bob, and thank you for being here with us on Coast TV News today. The Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m., and we'll be back here with Coast TV News Midday at 11 a.m., so stick with us for that. Until then, have a great Tuesday morning, everybody.